Hello, welcome back. Long time no see. Um, so I am back with another UL device, um, and this time it's actually not a pod. It's an actual atomizer. Um, basically, it's not RDA. It's not RBA. It's just a standard atomizer, uh, and that's the UL Valerian Three, uh, which is a, an interesting device, and um, I'm looking forward to see what uh, what's inside this tube. So um, without further ado, let's get everything set up and go to the breakdown. And here it is, the UL Valerian 3. It comes on a really interesting box because this actually just comes from the top like that. And here is your tank, your atomizer, and everything else is actually inside of here. So let's just open it up. We got a little instruction manual. Uh, you got some O-rings and uh, I believe some, yeah, that's basically it, just some more rings. Uh, you got an extra coil. This is like the, it, it reminds me of the smoke ones, like the piston based ones. Um, and also you have your silica gel. You got um, a warranty card. Also, what else do you have here? Oh, uh, warning and instruction manual and the outside or the inside of the actual plastic cap with some nice you know this package includes yada 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 uh, the instruction manual is awesome looks like out of a video game <laughs> the power of fire uh, of course we're not gonna go read through all of this I'm gonna show you how this actually works so first let's start with this coil so this one is true what's the values here let me just see if I can slide so this one is a 0 0.14 ohms and it's best vaped between 80 and 90 watts. So they're actually gunning for higher wattage here. And here is the device. Really pretty, really slick, actually quite light. Uh, one of the features I like the most about it is actually the, it has where it says here, like a little button that says Valerian here. If you just press on it, voila, it opens. Look at that, it's like spring loaded. This is awesome because I generally like hate, you know, having to unscrew the tops or the slide ones are actually good, but this one I think is just like, just genius. Why haven't like people thought about this like sooner? Uh, but either way, you got your um, uh, mouthpiece here, which is a 510 um, wide bore. You can just slap it on here. Uh, you got your airflow here at the bottom not stiff or anything and you got your coil this actually this coil is a to, to open it you just just unscrew the bottom there you go and then you have this beefy coil that is uh what's the wattage on this one ah there you go it is uh it's hard to see Sorry for that. This is a 0 0.32 uh, ohms, and it's best between 80 and 85 watts. As you can see, it's just like a circular type one, looks like a chimney. Uh, that's not much to say about it, uh, apart that I, there's a lot of effort putting into this cause. Look at that, the shape of it. It's really nice. Um, and then you have your you know, base plate here where you just literally screw everything in, and then you just, attach it to the, to the chimney and it does give you like this concave rounded vibe I'm not sure if it's gonna be easy to focus here focus there you go as you can see it's got these nice lines onto it uh, it also has some interesting like lines here at the top which is not that bad. Uh, if you want to fill it, actually you do have two filling ports here. And I did notice that uh, it makes it easier because you can fill on one end and then you can actually fill on the other end because with some devices you do have to end that problem of you start filling it and it just like creates this if you put the basically the bottleneck of, of the, the bottle uh, and it just covers the entire thing. You start squeezing it, then liquid comes from the top. This actually allows for a little bit of airflow so it doesn't that doesn't happen. Real well thought of. It looks solid, looks good, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna vape on it. 
Okay, moment of truth. You got the UL Valyrian on my GeekVape pages and we are gonna be vaping at 80 watts. So, and full blown open airflow. Nice, but too much air. I'm just gonna close this off uh, up to halfway. It's good. It is good. Really good device. Um, I like it. It's just, when it comes down to these devices, it's like, it's just simple, easy to use. Slap on a coil, close everything, fill it up, vape away. Um, one of the things I do have to say is that um, the 80 to 90 watt range is really good, at least for me, because I like to vape at, at higher wattages. Um, so that's a big plus for me. Uh, another big plus is, you know, the you just press a button and it just opens and then you just literally click it down. Awesome, because a lot of my devices, I do have the problem that it's a screw tap, a screw top, um, and sometimes with the heat and everything, the O-rings expand and it just becomes basically a bitch to open it up. So it's a big plus for me. Um, I, it's either those that flip up or the ones that slide. So, but the ones that slide sometimes in your pocket, they do tend to slide away and you, you end up having like a weirdly um, awkward, hard to explain stain in your trousers. With this one, that doesn't happen because even the movement is just, it's just good. So, it has a good airflow, it pulls really good the flavor, it doesn't mask the flavor whatsoever. Um, so yeah, I like it, I recommend it. Um, I'm getting a lot of UL products reviewed lately. Um, not sponsored though, I would love to, but yeah. It means that it's a, it's a brand that's getting it right. So either way, this is all I have for you guys today. So you know the drill, like, subscribe, follow me on social media, yada yada, and I'll see you next week. Take care.